Timu Hall, take 14. Why did I say that? Because I've started this about 13 times. This is the 14th time. All right, this is gonna be it. Yes, I have a Timu Hall and I have some other things too. Let's get into the Timu Hall first. My name, Material Mom, is not my real name. My real name is Angela Burton because I'm sharing lots of material with you. Not just things, but learning philosophies of mine, tricks, hacks, all that stuff I share. And all that's all material I share with you. That's why I named it that. And I need therapy. These are my favorite shoes. Carolyn told me about them, my sister, if you know Carolyn. And she was wearing a pair. And I said, let me try them on. And then I loved them. And they just feel almost like leather, but of course they aren't. And the rubber sole. And I only, I got these for $3.59. And it said yellow. And they are kind of yellow. So, Carolyn, now Carolyn wanted some yellow ones. It's not a very bright yellow. Would it match other yellow things? You know, I ordered this from Timu, number 26. It's my favorite. But last payday, I was able to order the real one. You know, that's like 10 bucks. This is like 30, 62, the real one. Because I deserve it. I never had real perfume. It's always been copycats. It's even better, but stronger. Oh, love it. Makes me whimper. Anyway, so yellow. And I have a few yellow shirts. I have a few yellow dresses for $3.54. I don't need therapy because it was so cheap. All right. My red chair, I had it all cleaned off. I did all my sewing and mending that I had over there to do. I did it all and I'm so happy. So now I can see my chair. Now, I ordered a navy blue dress. And if I wore navy blue shoes, navy blue dress, navy blue purse, monochromatic, I don't think it would be as pretty as if I wear a two-tone navy blue with white. And then, guess what purse I will take? My new Michael Kors purse that my son gave me with the navy blue dress. I love it. I think it's gonna look really good. And these, I had to pay a little more, $6.53. But they're very comfortable. And I have another pair in another color and I do like them. And they have extra cushion right here, a little for Timu, see, Velcro. And then look, tissue cushion right here. And at the ball of your foot where it gets hard right there. And in the toe area, that's a little cushiony. I need that. So for $6.53, I'm gonna love that outfit. Can't wear it yet though, because you know why? We're still into summer. I've got to wear all my summer bright dresses before I wear the navy blue. So that'll be like in September, maybe October. All right, it's my philosophy of life. Never wear boots in the summer. I see people doing it. Never wear sandals in the snow. I see people doing it. I don't understand it. All right, one time, here's a story. <laughs> one time, Hillary, my youngest daughter, and she thought she was smarter than me when she was a teenager, but I knew she wasn't. But anyway, we were going to Logan or somewhere shopping, and it was winter time, snow on the ground, and she's wearing sandals. Well, she's sat in the, sitting in the back seat, and I'm in the front, Jamie's over here, and you know that divider in between the two seats. And here she put her feet up here with her sandals on, and she goes, mom, my feet are so cold, my toes, please cover them. I said, no, sorry, I told you, you shouldn't wear sandals in the winter, need to learn your lesson. 
Yes, I gave her, covered them. I even massaged them for her, get warmth into them. But I thought, you stupid girl, learn a lesson. All right, I bought the last one of these and it was a totally wrong color. That's what I hate about it. I'm buying makeup from Team Mew. My son, Tyson, he always said, says it, Team Mew. No, I lied. It's David, my brother, that says Team Mew, like a cat. I think that is so cute. So I want to say it. I want to get in the habit of saying Team Mew. I don't know why he thought. Did he really think that's how you say it? Or was he just being funny, trying to doll it up? I think that's it. All right, I'm hoping. This is silky beige color. I need a good face powder. I used to wear Bare Minerals, that expensive stuff that on TV they sold. Loved it. But then it got out of my price range, or I got out of its price range. People show they wear e.l.f. Isn't e.l.f. a real cheap crap makeup brand? All right, okay, it's darker. I don't know what I did with the other one I bought, but it was the wrong color. So let's see this. Maybe in the winter time I can wear the other one. Now this is supposed to be, let's read about what this is supposed to be. Here's the color. Do you think it'll match better? All right, long lasting pressed powder, translucent matte powder block, fine powder, soft focus and transparency. No heavy powder floating, hidden pores, and natural and beautiful makeup. Oh, good. After applying the base makeup product, you know, your creams, crap, use a puff to get a proper amount of powder. Gently press it on the face, forehead, nose, and next meal. I'm not kidding you. It says next meal next meal. Gently press it on the face, forehead, nose, and next meal. And use it several times to create a natural, refreshing, and soft makeup feeling. For external use only, keep out of reach of children, avoid contact with eyes, discontinue use of signs of irritation or rash occur. Store in a cool and dry place. Yeah, like we're going to put it out in the rain. <gasps> date. Oh, production date. I was going to say Production date was 10-21 of 23, but the expiration date, 10-21 of 28. I'm so happy so I can have it for how many, four years I can keep it, and it will still be good. Stay matte. Okay. And look, it gives you a lot of reading on here, but it's all in a different language. So... That'll be thrown away. Okay, it has a little plastic on the top that we have to take off. That was easy. Okay, it says to use a puff, but they don't give you a puff. They give you a sponge. All right, here we go. Okay, got some on here. Since the light is brightest on my forehead, I'm going to put it on my forehead first. But you don't have a mirror. Yes, I do. My camera's a mirror. I like that kind of. Well, the blush I used this morning stayed on all day. That's good to know. Sorry, but I'm going to have to get out a better mirror because the camera's not working. And I got to see it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. You know, some things don't help you no matter what it is. I'm gonna try one of these. Let's try a real puff, like they say. Okay, ooh. All right, we're gonna try it now. Huh. I'll tell you, I had a problem the other day. It's gonna be, there's another story for you. I was outside, or maybe I was inside, it doesn't matter. I was sitting down on the couch. I know it was a couch because Brooklyn, Elf, was sitting next to me. And 
I was very hot that day. I had to check my teeth out to see if I still had them because they're getting so small. I'm gonna try it again tomorrow. I think I'm gonna like it. It's lighter on than it looks in there, but maybe it's just because of the bright light. Anyway, Brooklyn was sitting by me and she said, Grandma, and I got alarmed. I thought a bug was on me or something. And she said, Grandma, look. And what was she looking at? I had my hair all pulled back because you know, I was cooking and hot. And she goes, look at how white your skin is in here. And you didn't smooth your makeup into your hairline. And I said, I know, how do I put, I don't want it in my hair. So, you know what? I'm gonna try it right now. I thought Maybelline was my best favorite makeup until I tried Revlon. I like Revlon better now. I remember telling you this makeup's good. It is pretty good, but I like Revlon better. All right, now look at, if you put makeup clear up here in your hairline, what's it gonna do? Let's see if it, maybe she's right. All right, that's probably gray hair showing through. Oh, does it get your hair dirty? I don't know. Maybe not, maybe it'll make the gray go away. Maybe I should do that better. I'm gonna start doing that. No, and you know what? When I go floating, I'm gonna start having to put my hair back like this and not wear a hat because I notice where I wear a hat right here then. I just have to wear a hat from here down so the sun won't get my face, but it needs to get right here. Why do I care? Nobody's looking at me, except my granddaughter looking at my, and then, you know, you got to blend all down here. And then when you wear something high neck, makeup gets on it. So then I always take a dirty old rag and go like this and try to brush it off so it won't get on my clothes. All right, I had to order more of this and more of this. Why? Because, where is it? Where is it? Right here. This was more of this and it's 12 rows was cheap, $1.39, and this was $1.39, a sheet of it, the sparkles. Why did I buy it? I'm gonna show you why. Just a minute, I wanna take it out of here because it will sparkle better for you. This was just a four inch by something sheet, however long this is. Still doesn't sparkle good. Is it rhinestones? Yeah. Anyway, because I made this uh, a few days ago, it's my bobby pin. I already showed it once, but it's my bobby pin from Sally's. And I thought, oh, that would be fun to do because it's like an octagon, hexagon, or whatever shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight-sided, whatever that is. Jamie, what's eight-sided? He would know for sure. But these are the mirrors by the, on the sheets. And it just went perfect on the little crooks of the curve. And, oh, it makes me happy. And then, do you see the collection back here? Then I got this at the Dollar Tree a long time ago. And it was over there on my perfume table. And I thought, wait, forgot to do that. To put my pins, all my sparkly pins in. And so I did this. You don't realize how I'm looking around at everything thinking, what can I do next? What can I bedazzle next? I did this, I already showed you all these. And I did this, I love doing it. I should do the back of my mirror. That would be prettier, I don't know. But I always, when I see it on there, I just keep buying more. And this is my bag of sparkle stuff. It was in a smaller bag and it outgrew it. And I have some pink here too. Yeah, that was a Q-tip that went flying. So I keep it all in one bag. I'll show you what else I have. One bag, fingernails. In case of the apocalypse comes and we can't order anymore. And this are all of my stamps. 
Miracle Mom and my address, return address, stamps and everything. I have them in baggies. I have baggies everywhere. But that's all. My laptop's down here. Okay. I'm doing a team order, so stop doing that. Okay, this. I don't know why I bought this for $2.91. It's black, it says. Why did I buy it? I don't know. We're going to see. I don't even know what it is. I don't remember. It's beautiful. And look, it gives you, I need a scratch paper. This will be my list of what I have to do tomorrow. All right, I paid $2.91. Let's look at it. Black wallet. Now Tyson gave me that Michael Kors wallet, but is this just a wallet? Oh yeah, it is. And look, it's very nice for $2.91. Has all these slip pockets. A zipper for your change and your phone's supposed to fit in here. Let's see if it does. Cause you know, I might have got it just because it would fit my phone. Let's see. We wanna see. Oh, it's getting charged. Okay. Take this off of there. Get down. Don't lose it though. All right, now let's see. Yep, it fits it. And then this is supposed to go here at the bottom. But I wish I could have a handle, a real handle on it because, you know, sometimes you don't want to carry it. So what if I put my handle out like this? All your money will fall out. All my money will fall right out because it can't go tight. So I'm gonna put this back in here because I might give it away. Kinda got crumpled right here. <clears throat> the plutter like leather vinyl fell on the floor. Don't worry, I'll pick it up when I get up. All right, what's next? Some earrings. Because you know I need earrings so bad. I'll never wear them, probably. What color are they? They're blue, and they're pretty fake. It's pretty fake-looking blue. But I like the, I like these that you don't have to have a back to it. So I might wear them. I do think I might wear them. If I had this royal blue. My new dress that I altered is this color blue but I don't know if it's special enough to wear with that blue dress, because I might have better. Now this, I do not understand what it is at all, but I ordered it anyway for $277. It's for your yarn, and it says it's supposed to hold it, and I do not get it at all. Okay, you have this, and I think this goes through here. I'm just guessing. Yep. And it has this. Oh, wait. Oh, no. This goes to the wallet. And this goes to this. What does it do? I know you guys all know what it does. I gotta look it up, because maybe it's a top. <laughs> what does it do? I don't know. What did I order? There's no directions. So, I gotta look it up from the horse's mouth. In other words, T Mew. All right, let's see. What is, what the heck is it? How much? 277, it wasn't very cheap. I'm gonna count how many orders I have coming so you guys will stay tuned in. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. That's pitiful. That is just pitiful. Don't tell Jamie. He'll have a fit. You're spending too much money. I know, but... Well, this order was only $21, so, you know. All right. I have a hard time finding something I need and I don't have. 
acrylic portable yarn holder with a handle. I'm going to have to watch the video of it. All right. They show it in the package and opening it just like I did. All right. They give you this handle and this little thingy here. All right. And they get out the handle and the ring. Okay. Next. What's next then? Oh, there's a clear. Mine's black. All right. You have to do this. We're going to put this on here. Okay. I can do that. I don't need help. The hardware is pretty cheap, the filling. Okay, I did that. Well, I didn't get one of those. Oh, it's this. It was clear. I couldn't see what it was. All right, this little ring you open up somehow. Oh, you push it in. You don't pull. Okay, you push it in and you put it on here. And then the video ends. All right. Okay. Now what? That was a horrible video. All right. Now, you... Oh, you put your ball of yarn on here. All right. I'm going to have to go over here and get a ball of yarn. Because we got to see it. We got to live it real. Real-like. Because... And then she has it on her arm. And it's carrying her yarn ball with her. But you know, what about a skein of yarn? That's what you call the big ones. All right, I have one over here. Pardon me, I'll be right back. I won't be long. I'm hidden, I'm even crocheting right over here. Okay, I got it. Okay, let's get a ball of yarn. I'll get the pink, it'll show up. Okay, and you're supposed to, oh look, cause she has pink. Look, she has pink, so I'm gonna get pink. All right, now how do you know where the center of it is? You just stuff it through the center of where you rolled it. All right, you kind of have to work it through. Do any of you have one of these and use it? I guess it's because you don't want it to roll around on the floor, maybe. Okay. All right. I'm doing it. I did it. Okay. <laughs> okay. My mother never had one of these, and she was a master knitter crocheter. The best there is. She made sweaters. She made everything. All right. So then the lady wears it like this, and then she has her yarn. Coming out here, right here is the end. Oh. And then she's knitting. Well, I don't have an, my crochet hook's over there. What can I use for a crochet hook? I'll use a pencil just to see. All right, pretend I'm knitting. Do -do 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 -do. Is it gonna keep coming? Do -do 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 -do. And it swings like this as you're knitting crocheting. Is it necessary? I guess if you walk around and you wouldn't lose it, it'd follow you and it wouldn't roll under the couch like it does now. So I guess it would be good. I don't know. Something new I don't have. And it's now two twenty seven. I paid two seventy seven. I probably got a price adjustment. Okay. So now I've seen it all and I have it all. Okay, that was good to know. Taught you something. Alright. Oh dang, I forgot to get something. Alright, here is a necklace that I should not have ordered. A dollar thirty-four. I don't know why I ordered it. I don't. I don't really like these cheap necklaces. I want quality. I'm not a snob. I just kind of like quality necklaces. But maybe this is going to be so beautiful, it will look like it's quality. All right. It's a ball, a blue. I probably got it for the, you know, cruise. Blue ball. 
Okay, how much? $1.34, but it doesn't really match the earrings because they're gold and blue. And this is silver and blue. Look at my hair. I sweated so much today and it wasn't even that hot. Okay, this is, says it's supposed to be turquoise. They lied. It's not. And I paid $1.41 and they don't give you a chain. You gotta have your own. And I don't really like it that much. Because in the picture, it looked more turquoisey. So, I don't know. What would you wear? It does have a little purple in there. I don't know. It's nothing to write home about. Since I think my mother's gone, I don't have a home to write home to. I'm sad about that. All right. I used to write letters to my mom and dad all the time. I paid $1.48. And how many pair did I get? I got a black pair, a royal blue pair, a turquoise blue, gold and silver, and red. Why did I get these little tiny hoops? I'm going to tell you why. Because now I have two holes in my ear. So, like, if I want to wear these blue ones here in the first hole, then I could wear these other blue ones in the second hole. And I like these kind, little hoops that, you know don't have to have a back and don't stab you in the head. So for $1.48, you got every color imaginable except pink, orange, and purple, and they have a lot of colors that you don't have. It's okay, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. All right, and there's one more thing in here. I don't know if this is gonna work because I bought these, they were $3.97, to go with a swimsuit, and it's supposed to be brown, coffee color. And they look a little, I guess they are, but they look a little burgundy, pinkish. And I have that one swimsuit I wanted to wear with them. I don't know if it'll work. But I had two others that I pin marked to see if I would like them. But I had to throw the bottoms away because they're those kind that are cut clear up. Like my front butt's gonna hang below the leg. Idiots. They don't understand a fat body does not. You cannot wear those kind of pants, legs. But I'll show you what I might get instead. Now I'll order these and then, then I'll have even twice as many. So, but I'll show you, they're in my cart and I have not erased them. Do you all, I know you all have carts full of potential shopping stuff. And here's a whole bunch of stuff I just put in here tonight. And then autumn came and I couldn't finish my shopping and I don't think I need any of it. So I probably won't order. Now I could have gotten these. Would they match brown? I don't know. Or I know you didn't see it very long, but it's okay. Or these ones. I don't think they match brown because they have black in them more. So these will probably, I should order these. It's not that important. I could just wear black ones under it. Anyway, so I don't know what I'm going to do. And I probably, I just won't do anything. And then summer will be over and I can do it next year. Maybe these will match. Should I run and go get it and see? You don't want to know. All right, here it is. I got to tell you about this. This doesn't have anything to do with Timu. It has to do with a very good friend. I cut off her name so I wouldn't show it. Because on take seven, I let it be seen. Her name is Rhonda Gore, and she lives in Washington. And she wrote me the most beautiful letter I've ever had. And she's given me a gift, money, that I've never gotten from even my own mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my children. So here it is. Hi, Material Mom. Not quite sure why you don't have a million subscribers because your YouTube channel Content is the most genuine and heartfelt and not to mention the funniest on YouTube. 
I've had more belly laughs at the things you say than I've had in many years. It's so nice to hear you speak of God. Seems a lot of people are afraid to these days. Anyway, she goes on to tell where she lives and what her winter or summer's like, very hot there and everything. Anyway, it was such a nice fan letter. Is it a fan letter? I can't imagine I got a fan letter. And this card, I just had a great thought. It was of you. Anyway, from your video friends in Washington State. I used to live in Washington State in Spokane and Medical Lake and stuff when my first husband was in the Air Force. We lived on the base there then too. And so my oldest son, Chad, was born there. So we have something in common but I don't know how far away her town is from the base and everything. But anyway, that was just the nicest thing and no one's ever given me a gift like that before. And I think I'm gonna put it right towards my teeth. If you missed it, in two days, I go to my appointment at 8.30 in the morning. I'm gonna to have to get up at 7.30 to brush my teeth for an hour before I go, I'm so nervous. And they're gonna clean an x-ray and see if I can get new front teeth that are like a little bit longer and a little bit wider. Cause my two sisters, I wanna show you this. My two sisters have beautiful teeth. Well, three of them do, but I just got this one picture just recently because David went to see um, my sister, Lisa and Shauna. You met them when they did that video when we were all together. And, oh, great. Let's see if I have the picture here. I do. Now, is this the one I wanted or is this the one? And... I want you to see, I just want you to look at their teeth. My two sisters, beautiful teeth. Can you see them? I'll zoom on on each one. Okay, here's, all right. First of all, here's Lisa's teeth. Now look how good her teeth look. Mine look like I'm a poverty stricken alcoholic. And then here's Shauna's perfect teeth. Well, and then David, he never had a cavity in his whole life. He had perfect teeth from the very beginning. And Carolyn has good teeth. She said the trick is to go often. No, if I went often, it's not gonna help these little midget teeth. One time Emily came and she hadn't, I hadn't seen her for, you know, a few months. She goes, Mom, your teeth got so little. I must have been grinding them in my sleep. I don't think I do anymore. Hillary said, when I get my new teeth, I'm going to have to wear a guard at night when I sleep. I'll do it. I'll do it. So anyway, right now I'm putting all my money towards my new teeth. And now that my credit cards are paid off. So now um, I'm going to... Maybe I'm just praying that I can get them because I may not be a candidate. They have to look at your gum tissue and they got to, you know, see if your teeth are big enough to hold it. All the things. I don't know all the things, but I can guarantee you one thing when I go. I'm going to be wearing my new perfume, the real stuff when I go. Because the lady that's going to do it is in my church. Now, you know, I kind of smile at her in church. She doesn't know what it's, she's going to be. That is intimate, up close and intimate. She's going to be looking right in there. Then when we go to church, she's going to look at me and go, oh, that bicuspid she has is pretty bad. Those gums, those teeth. What has she been eating? What has she been doing? What has she been? So, but Hillary promises me that they have the HIPAA code and they are not allowed to tell anyone what other people's teeth and who they saw even. So I'm bang, banging, I'm banking that that lady will uphold that and she won't tell everybody, oh, that Angela Burton had the worst teeth in the world. But luckily there's three Angela Burtons in town. So if she says it, they won't know which one it is. 
could be that other one, that school teacher one, or that nurse one. Not that old homebody lady. That's me. I'm the oldest one, and I'm the homebody. So, they won't know which one. Anyway, thanks for watching. I love you guys to death. I never thought I could love strangers. I want to apologize. It's hard to remember names when you don't have a face with it. And most of the time when you write a comment, there's no face there or I don't really know and I can't remember. And then I'm like, oh wait, there's a few names I remember because I associate it with other people, family members and stuff. But some of them I'm just lost in the whole big group of you. But good news. Wait, where's my thing? Where's my thing? Here it is. Good news. Good news. Drum roll. Where is it? Oh, that's not the drum roll. Sorry. The picture's above it. Drum roll. I'm up to 5,709 people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I never thought I would even get a thousand hardly. 5,000. That is so great. Makes me so happy. Not as happy as my family makes me happy, but right by it. Video friend happy. Look, you can tell I've been sweating because look at this curl right here. Because I really have curly hair, kind of. And when my bangs start curling, you know it's time to go to bed. All right. This is going to be over now. Goodbye.